welcome back to our channel. Uh, today, guys, we are doing something a little fun. Um, today, I have my pre-op with my surgeon. For round two. Round two. I imagine. Guys, if y'all are new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we do a lot of different things here. Um, DIYs, regular vlogging. Um, we also uh, do, I do a little bit of surgery talk too. I did have a mommy makeover in a March of 2021. Um, and I'm going back for round two, February 17, 2022. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Um, so yeah, guys, so I'm on my way now to our, um, pre-op or my pre-op um i went first already to my doctor's office the other week and got lab work and everything um done and then now i'm going to my pre-op with dr plano um my doctor's name is jeff angobaldo everybody knows him as dr plano he is in plano texas guys um I went with my, uh, I went to him for my mommy makeover. I had a breast augmentation, a breast lift, um, tummy tuck, um, BBL. BBL. I did do lipo to my flanks and to my back. Uh, with that fat heat, put it on my boat team. But um, this time around, I'm just kind of finishing up the process, guys. When you do your tummy tuck, you're not supposed to have lipo to your stomach. So that's what we're doing now. Um, I'm going to do lipo to my stomach. And then I told him, if you're going to take it out, you might as well put it where it belongs. <laughs> so go he's going to do a fat transfer to my butt. Um, again, it is February 17th. We are now January 25th, 26th, something like that. Yeah. So it's getting closer. It's getting closer to time. Super excited. Super happy. Um, I pay off my surgery or the rest of my surgery today. So we should be set for February 17th. Kind of super excited. But anyways, I'm headed to Plano, Texas. And I'll see y'all when I get there. Okay, guys. So we just pulled up. And um, just getting all my paperwork together, money together, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you my quote really quick before I go in. Um, the quote was, I was thinking about having a lipo to my inner thighs, but I've changed my mind since then. Um, but I am doing the lipo to my stomach, which is 1500. Um, I do have dog ears. They're not really dog ears, but anyways, he's supposed to fix it and it's no charge. Um, fat transfers to my butt. He's charged me fifteen hundred, and so that's a total of three thousand right there um, for those two things. Um, they are talking about doing anesthesia, and that cost is fifteen hundred, um, and that's pay. You have to pay that the day of your surgery. So they say bring cash or bring um, check, but you have to pay the day of your surgery. So right now, guys, um, I did have to put one. When I set my date, I had to put $500 deposit, which I did that to hold my date. Um, so today, I'm having to pay $2,500 um, for the procedure. And then again, the day of my surgery, I'll pay the $1,500. But um, all right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to head in. Robert can't go with me because of the whole COVID thing. Y'all know. Um, I don't know when that's going to be over, but Robert has never really been in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. He, he went in for something. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah. But. Um, I think I came for your first consultation. He helped me get in because I had to walk yeah. in there. So that was right after my surgery. I, you have to come back the day after your surgery. So that way they can do like a post-op um, the day after your surgery. So we did that and he had to help me walk in and stuff like that. So. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go in and hopefully they can see me early because I didn't think it was going to take me this quick an amount of time to get here. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer with traffic and stuff, but um, we're out here in Plano, Texas, but we might. Hopefully they can see me early and then we can go for lunch because <laughs> I haven't had lunch me too. <laughs> or breakfast. Me too. But um, OK, guys, well, I'll see you once I get in there.
Yes. already um my favorite person's here wendy so i'm glad to see a familiar face um but i already sent signed all my consents they've already sent them to me um right now we're just gonna start the pre-op as soon as she gets back in here um yeah. okay guys so um the nurse just came in and we kind of just went over specific things um exactly what i'm doing um, what I can do prior to my procedure, like, or what I can't do, basically. Um, stop fish oils, stop any kind of ibuprofen stuff. Um, they did um, say don't be around smoke, and I don't smoke, so I do go to different places that there is smoking, so I won't go to those places. And then I gotta stop drinking, I think she said two weeks prior to my procedure, so I can still drink for now, at least. Um, but yeah, she just went over specifics and the consents and, um, amount I have to pay today and then went over my leave for work. Um, and then, uh, the doctor's going to come in next to kind of look at me and then go from there. Kind of scared. <laughs> okay, guys, the nurse just came in. Um, the doctor is stuck in surgery right now, so he's not able to see me today. Bummer. But we kind of already discussed it. I had already seen him, this and that, so I, I'm good on that part. Um, the nurse came in, went over my medications, kind of talked about the date of surgery. Can't wear my lashes, can't wear makeup, can't wear my nails, can't do certain things, whatever. Um, they will be taking a um, test on me that day of your procedure um, to do to test for nicotine. If it comes out positive, they cancel you. Um, I do have to do a COVID test five days prior to the procedure, so they have to have results by then. Um, so yeah, they kind of just went over a couple things. Right now, we're gonna do my pictures. Um, this is supposed to be pictures prior to your procedure, so that's what we're doing next. Um, and then, yeah, we just kind of went over paperwork stuff, um, and then do my pictures, and then I go pay, and then we can leave. So, we'll see. Um, everything seems pretty good. They talked about which arm is better for them to stick. I told them my left, just because my right is always super hard, is what people tell me. So, um, I'm gonna, I told them my left. Um, she wrote that down. Um, she wrote down other stuff about my medications. Um, they are gonna be sending my uh, prescriptions over to the um, pharmacy by my house, so that's good. Um, and then I have all the paperwork, the consents, everything. They've already sent those to my email, so I have those. Um, so yeah, everything seems like it's just good to go right now. We're just kind of waiting. I'm kind of bummed a little bit that I'm not going to see the doctor, but like I said, I've seen him before. He kind of looked at me before. Everything was good. Um, and said what we're going to do prior to all this. So, I mean, honestly, it's okay. So, um, like right now we're just going to see, get, get my pictures done. So, all right guys, we'll see y'all in a bit. Okay guys, pictures are done. And I am done. I gotta go to the front so I can pay. My question, do yes. you get your EKG? Yes. Okay, so I got all your labs except for your EKG. Oh. So if you wanna call them and just tell them to Okay. Honey? Did you get like the clearance letter and all that? Yeah, I got the clearance. I got your all your labs. Just um, have your EKG. And, then and she even told me everything came out good for the EKG. Okay. Yeah, I they cleared you, but we just don't have the, the graph. Data. Okay, so and I'll then, call them today. Yeah, just that and then you record your COVID five days before. Five days before, okay. yes. All right, all right. Thank, thank you. you. What was your name again? I'm sorry. Diana. Diana. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. So there are some, there are some. Yes. Yeah.
I'm gonna go ahead and pay too. You never asked me. You never asked me. All right. Balance is twenty-five hundred. Yes. Okay. I'm paying my bills, guys. $2,500. Okay. I don't know what I printed in red, but there you go. Oh. <laughs> okay. So $2,500. Alright, girl. So you Very are good. all set. They're okay. gonna call you the day before, give you your time, all of your instructions. The anesthesiologist will call you the night before, and I believe about six, between six and eight. Yeah, unless I think it was kind of late last time too. Yeah, unless you're on a Monday, then she'll probably call you Saturday or Sunday. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. I think it's a Thursday. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, and you're all set, ma'am. Everything's good. Oh, well, I won't get a time until that day before, right? Right. Okay. Cool. Alrighty, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. We are ready. Okay, guys, we are done. We're done, and I'm walking out to Robert right now, and he looks like he's asleep. <laughs> Poor thing, he's had to sit in until time. Okay, so everything's done. Um, everything's good to go. They're gonna call me the day before my procedure to give me the exact time um, to be here. It's not gonna be early morning like it was last time, um, oh, I don't think. Um, but um, they said they're gonna call me before. They're also gonna call me before to let me know what time to stop my meds. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? We did our pictures. You paid. I paid. She's paid. I paid twenty five hundred dollars today, and then the day of my procedure, I paid the um, fifteen hundred. Yeah. Um, and they said I can bring cash. Or I can be bring a check. So. It looks like everything is good to go. They got my paperwork for work. They did say uh, maybe uh, three weeks. Um, so they got your labs from the. They got doctor. my labs. I need a call because they didn't get the EKG. Okay. Um, but they got everything else. So it looks like we're good to go. Um, yeah. So we will see y'all. We're gonna catch some lunch right now, and then um, we'll see y'all in a bit. Yep. Bye. Yeah, I'm back home now. And um, I just kind of wanted to go over some of the things that they said. But anyways, um, they do want me to do uh, plenty of protein shakes. Um, they said that you have to do 120 uh, grams a day of protein. Um, they want you to take uh, Arnica tea. You can get that on Amazon or Etsy. And then Juven powder packets. Um, helps with healing is what they say because I didn't take that before. And of course, no pressure on my booty. It says for four weeks, but I think I'm doing three. Um, um, what else, what else, what else? We are doing lipo to the abdomen. They are gonna do like, I don't have dog tags or dog ears, whatever they call them. Um, I just have a little bit of extra fat on those ends. And it, I don't think it's called dog ears. Anyways, he's gonna fix that. Uh, I don't have a problem with it, but when he saw it, he's like, that shouldn't be like that. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, he's going to fix it for free, so go at it. Um, so he's doing that. Guys, they did tell me um, not to be around um, smoke. I told them I don't smoke. Um, and I don't, well, I drink, but like socially. Um, so I'm not supposed to drink two weeks prior to my procedure and then stay away from smoke. Stay away from smoke starting now, uh, which I'm three weeks out. Um, so I 
I can't go to bars or anything like that because obviously there's smoke there. Um, they do test you the day of your procedure, so that way if you come out positive on nicotine, they do, they will test you the day of your procedure. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mom. My son. Uh, I'm looking for a package. We just got here. Oh, well, yeah. It's on? <laughs> yes, it's on. Mm. <laughs> good. That's the end. What about it? Okay, go. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just walked in, so I didn't get a package. Your dad's in the restroom. Alright guys, so they did say that I will get tested the day of my procedure for nicotine. If it comes out positive, they will cancel on the spot, so no nicotine, no secondhand smoke. Um, and like, no secondhand smoke. And so again, and no drinking two weeks prior to the procedure. So um, they did give me a phone number for urgent stuff for call. I can call and text and send mess uh, pictures. They didn't say I had, um, I don't have a time yet. Um, they did give me my appointment already to go back the day after for the procedure because um, they do want to see me that afternoon so I will have to make my way back after my procedure um, and then I had to take my $1,500 or whatever to for anesthesia the day of the procedure uh, they went over medications um, for pain for nausea and it says other which would be like antibiotics so uh, they went over all that information with me. Um, I did make my full payment today of uh, $2,500, and then I take the $1,500 the day of procedure for anesthesia. Um, so it is paid for. Um, they told me that I, I, you do have to get lab work prior to this visit, and I had to get um, EKG, mammogram, or well, not even mammogram because I'm not doing anything to that. So um COVID testing they do want you to have a COVID test five days prior to your procedure um you're supposed to do the do the test five days prior and then within those days or whatever you're supposed to get your results take them with you the day of your uh, procedure or you can fax them in um different other kind of lab work that was done at my uh pediatric pediatrician <laughs> at my doctor's office was already done and sent into them so that was good um the only thing they said they're missing is my ekg results which my doctor had already said they were um um uh, that i had passed and everything was good but they then dr engelbaldo's office did not get them so i called my doctors already and asked them to send them to him um and i think that's it so that's just a kind of quick wrap up of what happened today guys um i'm getting super excited getting super happy um the time is passing really fast and i feel like it's coming like it'll i'm gonna blink and it's gonna be here um just trying to prepare i will be having another video out of how uh, sleeping arrangements will be um but yeah that is to come so make sure that you subscribe um, and hit the little bell so that way um, you get notified every time I do have an upload. Again, I'll be doing stuff on my medications and then stuff on um, sleeping arrangements. And then, yeah, if y'all have any questions or concerns, make sure that you send put them down in the comments and, uh, section. And so that way um, I can always answer back. Guys, I always answer back. Um, give me at least a day or so, depending on what's going on in my life. Um, but I do respond to my questions. Um, so, yeah. So, so happy y'all came along with me today. Um, and I hope to see y'all on the next one. And please subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.